in order to create the dynamic websites it is very essential that our page should be able to communicate with the data sources so that at the runtime if the data got manipulated we can see the changes in the web pages as well along with that the pages should also be capable of modifying the data so for such purposes here we are going to discuss about the data sources in asp.net so as I said like it will include all those controls in the data source which will help us in getting the data or retrieving the data from the various data sources. Once I will get the data I will be able to modify the data as well depends on which particular data source I am working on. It also includes the data from the database, XML file or any business object which is working in a middle tier. So data sources control connect and retrieve the data from a data source it also supports modifying data right means you will be able to retrieve the data and once you got that you can also modify it and sometimes you can also create a new data for the data sources. Here we have the list of the different data sources such as entity data source, uh, link data source that is for language integrated query object data source where you will find any object containing few data elements SQL data source which will be getting the data from the SQL server database and XML data source where an XML file will behave as a source of information so in our coming videos one by one we will cover all these data sources but one thing is going to be common that these controls are going to provide us the data from the various data sources in a bulk. So in our coming videos we will start working separately one by one with them.